With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is which one of the given statements is wrong. So from these given four statements, we need to see which is right and which is wrong. So let's start. The first statement says that bacterial cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan. This statement is absolutely right. It is made up of peptidoglycan and this gives shape to the cell of the bacteria. So the first statement is correct. Let's see the next one. It says that the walls of diatoms are easily destructible. Now what are basically diatoms? They are the unicellular algae. They are unicellular algae that means they are the they are the eukaryotic organisms right they are basically eukaryotes and they are found in the oceans right and these diatoms the cell wall it is deposited with silica the cell wall has depositions of silica and this silica makes it indestructible that is it is it is hard in structure and therefore these are not easily destroyed. So the statement becomes wrong. The statement is saying that the diatoms are easily destructible. But this is wrong due to the presence of or due to the deposition of silica they are not easily destroyed. So the second statement becomes wrong. The third statement says that in viroids RNA is of low molecular weight. Viroids are basically infectious pathogens for higher, higher plants. They are the infectious pathogen and they induce disease in higher plants. Right? And they have small circular RNA which is single stranded. The RNA which is present in viroid is small circular and single stranded and therefore it is of low molecular weight so this statement is right that the viroids the rna is of low molecular weight this is a correct statement now let's see the last statement it says that neurospora is used in study of biochemical and genetic work this statement is again right neurospora is basically a fungi and it belongs to Ascomycetes, right? And this is widely used in biochemical and genetic work because it is easy to grow. The growing of this particular organism is very easy, and this exhibits a haploid life cycle. That means the genetic analysis also becomes easy due to the presence of haploid life cycle. The genetic analysis of the organism it becomes simpler so therefore it is most commonly used in case of genetic work so this statement is also right so our answer to the question would be option b which is the only wrong statement here this would be the answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today